Hey guys, long time no talk. Hope you had a great holiday. Uh, I've been working on finishing up Smart One. We'll have a video on that soon. I thought while I was working on that, I've been doing a couple finishing techniques that I think I found some success with, so I thought I'd pass those along to you. That's what this video is going to be, is doing some finishing on some of the um, special materials I've been using. I've been using bronze fill, and I've been using wood fill for the first time. So, what we want to do, I made a nameplate for Smart One here that I've went and, there we go, polished. Uh, this is Color Fab Bronze Fill. So, luckily for you guys, I made an original one that had some print defects on it. We can use it to figure out how to polish it. We can go through that process. I did my first print with wood fill, and I'll take you through the process, and we'll see, supposedly, you can stain wood fill. So, let's go through the process of finishing this and try staining it and see what happens. So, that's what's going to happen in this video. So, let's get to it. So in order to complete these finishing projects, first, in order to finish the bronze fill, what you're going to need, you're going to need a very coarse grit sandpaper. So this here is 180 grit sandpaper, something in between. So here's a 400 grit sandpaper, a 800 grit wet dry sandpaper. Key being being able to use it with water. After that, what I use to great success is a steel wool. I found out there's multiple types of steel wool. so. This is a double zero where the coarser numbers are higher and the smaller numbers are, are finer. So this is a double zero. And I have a the elusive quadruple zero, which is for finishing and polishing. One last thing that I found at the store that seems to help, it's called Brasso. You can find it at Lowe's, Home Depot. It's just a metal polishing uh, compound. So that's for the bronze fill. Uh, for the wood fill, you'll need the sandpaper, same sandpaper, and of course, if we're going to stain it, I found some a small can of stain over at Lowe's, and a paintbrush, and some gloves if you're worried about staining your hands. So, let's go and start with the bronze fill and see what we can do to get that polished. Now you can see from this print right off the printer that we're going to have nozzle passes regardless of how good our printer is. So what we're going to use is the 120 grit sandpaper to go ahead and sand this down to get rid of the coarse layer lines. So let's do that and we'll come right back. Okay, I'm not gonna do the whole thing obviously, uh, but you can see here, where the nozzle passes were with the coarse sandpaper, I've let even those out so those nozzle passes aren't visible anymore. We're going to hit this with a 400 grit sandpaper now and get rid of some of the rough surface. Okay, you, with the 400 grit, you can start to see some of the shine coming out there. There's still some light scratches. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to add a little bit of water and we're going to use the 800 wet dry grit sandpaper and polish this up a little bit more. Now with the wet sand, you can really start to see some of the shine come out of that bronze fill. Uh, if you notice scratches and things like that that are a little deeper, you can always go back to a 400 grit sandpaper, sand that area until the scratches go away, then go back up and wet sand with 800. Next, we go to the coarse steel wool to polish the bronze fill even more. You don't need any water for this, just use the coarse steel wool in order to polish this. So let's use the coarser of the two steel wools and see what happens. Now we're really starting to get some polish on the bronze fill, but we're gonna go one step farther and use the super fine steel wool and see if we can get this polished even more. Okay, 
Okay, now that we've gone through all the steel wool, we're gonna use a little bit of Brasso on a paper towel or a cloth and polish it up a little more and then wipe it clean. And there you go. There is a quick polishing of bronze fill. One thing that's nice is even though bronze fill's binder is PLA, because it's mostly bronze, it sands extremely easily. Those of you who have tried to sand PLA knows that know that it doesn't sand very well at all. Bronze fill uh, and wood fill, even though their base is PLA, they sand extremely well. So don't be afraid to do this. It gives a really great result. So that's the process that you use to take something like this and bronze fill and turn it into something like this. It's a little bit of patience and a little bit of uh, elbow grease and you can have a nice shiny plaque. So now that we've done the bronze fill finish, we're going to try to do wood fill finish. This is new for me. Supposedly you can stain wood fill. Maybe that's right after you print it. I don't know if you can sand it and stain it. We're gonna find out for science. So I have my wood fill print here. I'm gonna use 120 grit, 400 grit. Let's do that and then we'll try some stain and see what happens. Okay, so we got our 120 or 180 grit sandpaper, doesn't matter, just some coarse sandpaper on a flat surface. We're gonna sand each side until the layer lines are gone. And then we're gonna move up to 400 grit and see how that is. And if we need to go to 800, we will, but let's, let's do the first two and see what happens. Time lapse. Now that we did the 120 grit sandpaper, we're gonna go up to 400. Now we're gonna rinse this off, get all the sawdust off, and let it dry. Get ready for stain. Okay, so we've sanded the block, and since this is a learning experience for me as much as you guys, we're going to try it and see what happens. I've never done it. Uh, full disclosure, I tried this before, and it didn't work well because I didn't follow the directions. So if you take the stain, it basically says apply liberally, let it sit for a couple minutes on the wood, and then you wipe off the excess. You don't let it soak in and, and sit there. So I didn't wipe it off, and you get a really thick coat. It took three days to dry. I sanded this back off. but. Three days to dry, it doesn't look good. So, we're going to stain it again. We're gonna let it sit for five minutes on here and then we're gonna wipe off the excess and let it dry and see what happens. So, let's give it a shot. Okay, we're gonna let it sit for five minutes and we'll come back and remove the excess. All right, five minutes has passed. Let's wipe off the excess and see what happens. I have no idea what's gonna happen, especially with this being part plastic. Mm, not bad, okay. Okay, so we'll let it dry for an hour, but all the excess has been wiped off and it does look like the stain is attaching. Um, one thing I, I'll show you later, wherever I didn't sand perfectly, where there's some light scratches, it's a little darker, that's okay. Um, I have no problem with that. But the point here is to see how well stain sticks to wood fill. And right now it's looking pretty good. So I may do a quick touch up, but we'll check the results after we get it completely done. We'll take it out and get a closer look at it. So we've let the stain dry and now let's check out the results up close and see how we did. The results are interesting and perhaps we can use this to make a better 
uh, stain projects in the future. So let's take a look at it up close. Okay, so looks pretty good. This side looks really good. But you'll note that in certain areas here, you can see like right here, this is the scratch marks from the coarse grit sandpaper. Same here. So it says with the 400 grit sandpaper, I didn't sand quite enough to get rid of the coarse grit. The layer lines are pretty much gone, but it's a little darker where those coarse grit sandpaper lines are. So in the future, same, same for the bottom there, you can see them. In the future, spending a bit more time on the uh, 400 grit sandpaper might give a little bit better results. But overall, uh, I'd say that's a properly stained piece of wood fill. So all we have to do now is attach the bronze fill together and complete the project. Okay, we're gonna use some silicone adhesive to the back of the bronze fill and attach it to the wood fill piece and we'll see how it does in the morning when it dries. I like to use silicone where I can because you can always separate the parts and replace them if you need to. If it's gonna be permanent, you can use super glue or resin bond or all kinds of, depending on the material, but silicone seems to stick to pretty much everything. It's a strong bond, but it's also a semi-permanent bond. So you can come back later and if you do, you wanna make this sign out of copper fill or steel fill, and you don't want to replace the wood block, you can go and pull this off, make a new one. There we go, and attach it here. Okay, and I'm gonna to have to prop this up a little bit overnight. Square it up. We'll let this sit overnight and check it in the morning. And here we have the results of our bronze fill polishing and our wood fill staining. It's not perfect, but it does stain very well. Had I sanded a little more, we got a little better result, but it's not bad at all. We now have the plaque I was trying to design. It's also got a nice shine to it. I'd call that a success. Well, guys as I've changed again since I filmed this over a couple days. Hope you learned a little something about polishing bronze fill and learning along with me how to stain wood fill. Took two tries, but we got it. Got a nice result here on the plaque I was trying to make. I'm gonna be doing a video on Smart One coming up on how that got completed. Hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, subscribe below. I'll be doing a couple more of these. Like I said, they'll be spaced out because kids, fun, hobbies, they all got a balance. So hope you enjoyed it. See you on the next one.